This creature is dangerously strong. I should not fight and just try to sneak past it. Hey everyone, I'm Spectral Star, and welcome back to Let's Play Elisa, the finale. At least, I hope so. I hope I can get it in one go. Been a very interesting turn of events going on here. We have robot, gatling gun, angel horses thingies. And now we're in a stealth section. The surprises never end. Do not want to piss these things off. The thing's weird looking. There's that thing. Shit. Oh, we don't have time. We've got to wait for the sound effect of the one on the right to come back. This is very dangerous. Get some kind of weird center staircase here with spikes. And we found out last time that this building went underground. It is a very strange building. Very, very strange. I think we're good. Oh shit. door is locked, but there is no keyhole. Okay, we gotta unlock it somewhere else or go from behind it. Another spike wall. Here we go. What we got here? Police bullets. Alright. That's one set of uh, spikes. It's weird that there's two sets here. Oh, okay. That's Thought it was going to go to the staircase. Apparently it unlocks these doors. And the place where the the thing is. The, the, the chemical library thing. I don't hear these things anymore. Are they gone? They are gone. There's a strange shaped rock inside a glass dome. I feel a strange sense of uneasiness when I come close to it. Is there a la there is a label under that under it that reads here stands the finger of God the birth of the Saint Johannes Johannes Institute a kind donation from the Manor of Tides okay odd gift to give an institution it's a clipboard with a note laying here I don't want to admit that I'm failing but it's true that my patience keeps petrifying and dying. Flora Isabella already succeeded to give her plants eternal life, but what if I found a way to reanimate the deceased, Pierre Edmiston? Then this would actually probably be Resident Evil. I mean, they're kind of alive? Anyways? What in the hell? A small fence is protecting something. A small fence. <laughs> it looks like some kind of mechanical piece. These candles look special. Maybe I can try to light them all. Sure, let's give it a shot. No. Okay. It's obviously a puzzle. That I don't have the exact knowledge of. What is that? A solid wooden candle stand. Nothing useful here. Sorry, my nose is itchy. I can't... I don't know why. Okay, so this just... This, we actually need to go here. <clears throat> it's a clipboard with a note laying here. Chemicals type A, B can be found on the top floor. Chemicals type C are stored in the operation room on the ground floor. Dr. Edmonston's permission is needed if you want to use any type C chemicals. Okay, so we're going to need chemicals. Rack full of chemicals. Rack full of chemicals. Okay. 
black board is wiped clean. It's kind of chemical refining device. Okay. Aha! If it isn't our crow again. Wait. I'm just here for the bullet fleet. <laughs> Long gone. What your emperor was planning is no longer relevant to me. Okay. For my safety is guaranteed here. I swear this guy is Salazar. Since I became the king. Of this castle. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay. Sorry. For even I asking. Good God. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? I love it. She's <laughs> tamed a robot. Magnificent. Very impressive indeed. Your strength that has survived so far is certainly an obstacle. And now this asshole However, with a neck beard can I fly. Have been endowed with great power. I am literally invincible, and now your end has come. <laughs> He's like a robust Farquad. Oh my god, you're joking. Ow. Oh shit. Okay. Okay, there's no way to dodge that. Woo! You asshole flying bastard. Damn it! Ooh. Okay, I got out of the way of that one. Okay. Oh, ho, ho. you suck, Farquad. <laughs> Eat shit, Farquad. Okay. Oh my god, how? How did I dodge that? Get out of the way, get out of the way. Oh god. Why a bow? I mean, you're, are you Cupid? Are you King Cupid? I love it though. It's freaking awesome. I'm like, oh! He made Alvarez guitars. Oh god. I'm getting good at this. Okay, as soon as I say that. No. <sighs> Got him. Sounds like he shit himself, too. Uh-huh. I wouldn't just get off that thing. How do you tame a freaking... Okay, you know what? I'm not even gonna ask. Everyone becomes mad here. That thing there, it bears an unearthly power. It protects this place. You have to destroy it. There is an incomplete chemical bomb in a room near the library. <coughs> but why? It's your only way out of here. The one and only exit is barricaded. But once this thing is gone, this place will slowly fall apart, and then it's your chance. 
Why should I trust you? Because you have to know the truth about your emperor's blueprints. Ah, there are people out there. They will show it to you. Ah. The emperor is not a liar. Okay, and the <clears throat> plot thickens. We've got a big bag of tooth wheels. This man is dead. Okay, um... So apparently there's a blueprint that... Shows that the Emperor is evil? I guess. Now let's, uh... Okay. It's not gonna work. Um... Oh yeah, okay. The shortcut here. <clears throat> so yeah, that was the dude that got swallowed up in here before us. I guess he was just a regular villager, and the place turned him mad, and he became like some kind of King Cupid type shit going on here. Something. This door still won't budge. It's kind of annoying. I guess a big bag of tooth wheels, so... Is there anything new in the shop since we beat him? Welcome. No new weapons. Although there's one slot for an extra weapon. And three more slots for stuff. It's weird. Okay, we got crossbow bolts. We got more Hans top ammo. We got eight of these med kits, man. Whew. I don't know what to get yet. So Let's just, uh... We gotta go find the chemicals. Oh my god, are, are you f Okay. Are you choking me? Now there's enemies there? Okay. Time to use the shotgun. Oh, come on. Jeez. How about the shooty shotter. And we might as well get the Yeah. And I'm guessing we better save. Like this is very weird because uh There was never enemies here before. I guess the, the new update brought them back. So now we have a lot more to deal with than we did. That hit me. But at least we can get like a bajillion more tooth wheels. Which is very good for business. What the fuck? Okay, not cool. Not cool. Not cool, sir. Oh shit, she's throwing shit at me. Okay, heal, heal, heal. Jeez. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna get some tooth wheels out the wazoo, so I guess I can kill everything and gear up. I have no idea. Honestly, I wasn't expecting enemies, but this is actually a good thing, in my opinion, because, uh... 
Because it was so empty after you, you know, you beat the game. And nothing you can use your weapons on and stuff, so. So, you know. Uh, are my two wheels on the wall, sir? So yeah, this is kind of cool. Ooh, that was close. Try to run more straight. Okay, we're probably gonna have a shitload of enemies out here. Yep, they're back. What else is here? Is this it? Yes, it is. Took what was useful. There's more than that. Come on now. There we go. I found the chemical I need. What chemical was that? Chemical X. No, I'm just okay, we got C. We need one more. And we also need the uh, the mechanism. So. I'm just gonna kill this guy. That was a waste. Oh. Okay, well we got a shitload of money. We don't have to go that way. Freaking great. Yeah, suck it. Okay. So, yeah, that was one of the main complaints. Is like, after you get all the stuff. And you finish, like, the second to last boss, it's done. There's no more game. But this makes it more interesting. Now that I have the power of God and anime on my side, I can take anything down. Okay, now. At least there's no enemies on the staircases here. Kind of happy for that. But I bet you moolah. There will be zero here. Watch there be a spider guy in here. Oh, no spider guy. Oh, yeah. It's jammed. Stuck. Couldn't get through here, so. Okay, cool. Oh. What's this? A strange drawing. Ooh. This must be the candle order. We're gonna take a picture of that. Here we go. Aha! Is that a good picture? Yes, it is. It's a very good picture. Yes, my phone is a piece of shit. Thank you for saying so. There's an old design plan for some kind of bomb here. It looks like someone was assembling one, but didn't finish it. Here's what I need to finish this. Uh, winding mechanism, chemical type A and chemical type C. All right, so let's go get both the last things we need. I wonder if we can go through this back door here. That's something they need to fix. Door won't budge, man. Well, I mean, I, I, I'm guessing that it's one person who made this game. Casper Crows. <laughs> one man development team. I'm, surely he had some help, right? This is a hell of an ordeal for just one person to take on by themselves. I guess we'll see in the credits.
Okay, so... Now we need to go to Buttland. No, 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 no. Not, not here. <laughs> no. No siree. Uh, where was... Uh, you know, we can go this way anyways. I mean, we kind of have to. Okay. We're gonna go get the... Okay, those footsteps messed with me. Okay. See, there's chemicals here. Chemicals on it are not here. Okay, we got it. Chemical A and chemical C. Now we just need the winding mechanism. You know, the thing that makes everything move. The power of automation. Z. Oh, wrong dude. Wrong right. At least there's no insanely long door loading sequence, which I thought was really cool back in the day, you know. I still think it's really cool, but it gets old after some time. Okay, man. Right. By the power of constipation, I will win. Win. T. Tree. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And we win! Yay! Pyromaniacs rejoice. Winding mechanism! Yes, now we can make that bomb a reality. Let's go. Let's go make ourselves an explodey boy. Explosions! Let's go make ourselves a... Transformers 5. A movie about robots and explosions. You'd think it would be super cool. But it's not. Actually, I, I think it's super cool. Yeah, let's go ahead. We got to go downstairs and get in the porcelain staircase and then go upstairs. It's up. Yes, we gotta go downstairs, get in the porcelain staircase, go upstairs, and then we gotta touch my butt. Touch my butt with a feather duster, cause it's dusty. Yeah. I got nothing to say. <laughs> I made a song up about touching my butt with a feather duster today. <laughs> I got nothing to say. <laughs> oh man, there's something wrong with me. Music is so hip and happening. Okay, let's do this. Winding mechanism first, because you know I want it to be able to explode any time I need it to. Then we'll go with alphabetical order A. And then C. As in, you can't see me. Pack the bomb. We sure did. Oh boy. Nothing of interest here anymore. Great. This is gonna open. Man, that would be the best shortcut ever, dude. Why you no hopping? Dang it, Casper, you did this to me. <laughs> Casper, the friendly ghost, the friendliest ghost we know. I bet nobody remembers Casper. Actually, no, Casper had a movie or two, so yeah, it would be remembered. Dude, I remember the cartoons. I am old as shit. 
Old as shit. And twice as smelly. Alright, so now we need to uh, get our gun situation in order here. We need to figure out what we're going to carry into battle. So let us go ahead and do that. We got the bomb. Welcome. Okay, so... Crossbow boat's made from like a crystal-like metal and it's very sharp and shatters on impact. Which is great. Hans rounds the heaviest caliber bullets on the market. Enough of everything, which we're not going to save just yet. I've decided to take the L Magnum and the crossbow. They both take forever to load. And I've stocked up on the health kits, so we got a million of them. So, yeah. And our health is about halfway, so. Welcome. Thank you. And we're saved. And I'm sure we can go downstairs and farm if we want to. Anyways, we need to go upstairs again. Not the same staircase, different staircase. This one, which is very long. But it's okay. I like automatic stairs. I really do. I think this is awesome. I mean, it's old school. It's like when Resident Evil figured out how to free roam stairs. It was insane. Like, it, okay. 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 It's time to party. Let's see here. Alright. So we've got 36 Magnum rounds. I don't know if we're going to need this much. I haven't... I haven't a clue. <clears throat> Might actually be better to bring a shotgun into this fight. Okay, the finger looks way better in the dark. Like, you can hardly tell what it is. But okay. Let's get started. Wind it up. This is gonna be rough. Huh? Paul? Wait, wait, wait. We just saved. Why is Paul here? Dude, they put me in the game. Oh, my little doll. Why are you trying to run away from home? I will teach you good manners by disassembling. Please don't. That did some good damage. Okay, um... Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, that hurt. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. I'm still young. Ooh. Oh shit, he makes extra enemies, huh? What an asshole. Ha! You missed, bitch! Surely you won't jump right to my spot.
gonna kill this thing before I do anything else. Okay, I gotta heal. Can't forget to take my medicines. Oh shit, okay. Do I have time for this? I don't think I do. No, I do not. Okay, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Come on. Don't do it. Don't stun lock me into death. Okay. I wish I could heal or like abuse the shit out of ammo. Sigward what? What did he give me? Shit, shit, I didn't move fast enough. Okay. Don't reload, don't reload! Okay, we got time. Shit. This is, uh, really hairy. But we got him halfway down, so we're not doing too bad. I'm not ever gonna attack him up here again. God, he looks like a freaky Tarzan. What the fuck? Okay. Sure. Yep. Ons rounds. Okay, good, good, good. We need those. He's dropping a lot of ammo. Bitch. Annoying little fleas. Okay, good. Alright. I can't get a good... Okay, he's making something, so... There's a good chance as any. Sort of, kind of. Is he healing himself? Oh shit, no, no, no! Ow! You're an asshole. You're an evil asshole.
those are a little less maneuverable, those guys, so... Okay, maybe not. Oh, the fucker's healing himself. Jeez, uh... What do I do about that? Get stuck on that. Please. I need to unload every little volley I've got on him and only him so he doesn't heal. Reload, 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 reload. He's gonna heal himself again, isn't he? So far, the Magnum is turning out to be the best weapon, honestly. This boss fight's taking forever. You know, just because it works, and that one thing's stuck over there, so this is really good for us. Oh my god, you clown ass! No, don't do it! Don't kill me! Don't you dare fucking kill me! What the fuck? Piece of shit. Shit, why not? Let's go for another med kit. No. Oh my god. Oh god, I hate you. I fucking hate you. Why do I gotta be fancy with it? I'm gonna try to do something. Oh no, 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 I fucked up, I fucked up, I fucked up, I fucked up. Oh my god, he missed me. He didn't that time though. Mm, motherfucker, please don't kill me. My god, this is brutal. Okay, the magnum's loaded. Oh, no, 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 no. Got him. <sighs> what the hell, dude? Are you gonna stand above the bomb? Oh, no, no. Okay, I see what you're doing. You guys can't climb stairs? No. How can you resist the power? I don't know, man. He's got his dolls. Are they gonna eat him? Snuggle him? I 
shit exploded hard. And it's snowing. And we're unconscious. Yay! I think. Oh, okay. Directed by Casper Crows. Written by Casper Crows. Co-written by Arisa. Oh, okay. Art and graphics by Casper Crows. Rigging and animations by Casper Crows. Casper Crows. Casper Crows. Alpha stage programming by Sean David. Simon Crows. Siegfried Crows. Casper Crows. Arisa. Wow. Oh, Paul was Casper Crows. Elisa was Arisa? That's so cool, man. Casper Crows was the the doll master too. This is really cool. That was, that was really great. Albert F. and Wesker. Albert Salazar. This is really cool. These must be the backers. I didn't see it up there. It went too fast. Really good game, though. Brought me right back to Resident Evil 1. Uh, not as difficult as, like, the beginning of Chris's run. At least on normal. I'd say this on... I guess there's a harder difficulty on this. I'm not sure. Um, would probably be way more brutal. Uh, which is something I might do on my own in the future. Because I do love this type of game. These PS1 D-Make type things. So this is not a D-Make or anything. This is a brand new... IP in the vein of bringing back like PS1 classic titles with uh, old school zero quality of life stuff which I thought this game had plenty of quality of life I mean I've been playing games for a long time guys ever since the NES and the Master System and this is just this was just a really nice little throwback to the PlayStation One era. I love the voice acting; it's very adorable. Um, the story's actually pretty good, pretty solid story. There's a little bit of weird shit that goes on that doesn't make any sense, but that's okay because that's the beauty of old storytelling. It's like it didn't really matter that much. It was just fun, you know. If you go back and play Resident Evil 1, you'd be like, What a mansion! Or, is this Chris's blood? Just cheesy stuff, and I love it. And uh, I hope there's an Elisa too. It looks like there should be, because what happens after she goes unconscious, right? The music's getting quieter. It makes me wonder, it makes me think stuff's going to go away, but we're still in the J's, so... Maybe another song? George A. Colon. God, I feel sorry for that guy. His last name's Colon. Yeah. When you run out of things to say. <laughs> I'm glad that uh, they were not ashamed to show the characters assets uh, you know it's like Bayonetta you can be hypersexualized and still be cool as shit there's nothing wrong with hypersexualization okay there's nothing wrong with it especially in games I mean games are supposed to be an escape from reality where everybody's wearing cardigans and long long pairs of pants and stuff you know it's just full length pants and, you know, it's just... I understand women don't want to be sexualized. And men probably don't want to be sexualized either. I don't know. I don't know. If I was sexualized, if people thought I was sexualized, I wouldn't have a problem with it. Uh, but luckily I'm not, so that's great. Um, I mean, if you're going to go out in a pair of bra and panties and they, you get hollered at 
I'm not saying it's your fault and I'm not saying it's their fault. I'm just saying it's natural for someone to think you look very, very good with next to nothing on. <laughs> and, and if that's the case, then just, you know, it, it depends on the person they are too, but you know, I don't really know what I'm saying. I'm just gonna honestly, I'm just gonna shut up. I just, I feel a certain way and I know what I would do and what I wouldn't do. And I know that sexualization is okay. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. Just take it. If, you, if it pisses you off, take it with a grain of salt. You know, make your jokes. Tell everybody how you feel, because telling people how you feel about it is a good thing, too. But trying to shut everything down, not a good idea. Not a good idea. Tie the Sega guy horn back. Okay. If I had known about this game, I would have backed it too. I just, I didn't know anything about it. And I feel bad about that because, you know, this was actually a very good game. And for me, it's it's going to be a classic in the future. I'm just going to play it again and again and again because I'm a Resident Evil fan. I love fixed camera angles and tank controls. And there's post credit scene. Yes. Age of Marvel. didn't swallow my cure -dent. Okay. He was a part of this all along. Man says he didn't swallow it. It's got a picture of him and her there. It's so weird. So she's okay now? What is that? The truth about the blueprints. Okay, so I'm guessing there's going to be a sequel. Finn. Masterfully done. Very, very good game. Enjoyed the L shit out of it. Casper Crows. Good game, man. You did good. You did really good. And this is the intro to the game. I've never shown it because... I don't typically sh uh, shoot the intros of games because they're a little hard to line up with the way I sync my video and audio together. But we got one dead doll and a bunch of dead cogs, and I just wanted to say good job, Casper Crows, and your team, and Arisa, for coming up with such a great game and a great story. And I enjoyed it, and I can't wait for the sequel. So, see you guys next time. I'm Spectral Star. Bye.